Last time on the 2018 Rampage the Movie series. And this time we get to look at George's final form, Mega George. And I gotta say, he's Kong sized. Maybe I should take back what I just said. Mega George is actually shorter than Kong, so he's almost there. The tan version comes from the same mold as the new one. The leg on this one actually works much better. Now that I've taken a look at all three Georges, which one do I like the most? I personally like the canister contact set. This time we are taking a look at the giant wolf Ralph. Personally, I didn't have a lot of gameplay with Ralph since I played more of the NES version. But you better believe when I got my hands on the arcade version, Ralph was my number one choice. This set comes with two pieces of fence, a ground attack missile launcher number 557, the Coors Reaper version 3 with his signature Uzi, and Ralph. Let's start with the fence. This fence has two lights and comes with side parts. These side parts can come right off. The other fence has barbed wire along the top and because there's no stand, it falls over very easily. It's actually pretty annoying. If we look at the bottom of the fence post, we can tell that something was supposed to be there to hold it up. Now we'll look at the ground attack missile launcher. And something that's kind of weird about uh, Lennard toys is that the other side is usually not painted. But that's not the case with this missile launcher. We actually get paint apps on both sides. The missile launcher is numbered 557 and it comes with four missiles. Inside of the missile boxes, there are holes to hold the missiles in place, but they aren't very deep. So when we add the missiles, they actually feel pretty loose. The missile launcher can move from side to side on a very sturdy tripod, and the missile boxes can move up and down together. This is a lot like the 1983 G.I. Joe Wolverine. Here's the figure that comes with the set, Reaper version 3. Reaper is one of the core sub-teams that Dan Classic and I have dubbed the Craptastic 4. He is the least articulated figure in the entire core toy line. He can only move his arms up and down. Now the reason I'm not taking out this rubber band is because it's really hard to have him hold that weapon. So his arm can go up about that far and down to his waist and you can imagine that this hand can only come down. So yeah, he's not very well articulated. There is no joint on his head, waist or legs. Now Reaper comes with a signature Uzi, which has the tip of it painting orange. Kind of like Davis's rifle. At this point, there's a theory, and a good one. The reason for this is because role-playing size toy guns have tips that are painted or molded in orange plastic. So in the case of these miniatures, they should have the same kind of treatment. Let's just hope that this isn't the case with the new core figures. Or else people are going to have to start buying some kind of paint remover along with their core figures. Like Vulture 3, I like this version of Reaper's color scheme. It's very deserty, but not really. He also seems to be a little bit more dark skinned than the previous version. The other part to this set is the broken canister. Well, actually this one is bent. So let's take a closer look at that. So here's the detail on the canister. It's still made from two different parts, but it kind of seems to be a little bit twisted. Here's a comparison between George's canister and Ralph's canister. George's canister just has that hole in it, while Ralph's canister is just completely twisted. It's pretty cool. I think the coolest thing about this is that both canisters aren't the same. They were destroyed in different ways. And now for the small Ralph. He actually looks great. All four of Ralph's legs can move. Not only that, but he also comes with a uh, jaw chomping action. 
He actually looks pretty fierce with his mouth open. Now if we look at the canister contact version of George, he actually matches up pretty well with this version of Ralph. Even the wolves are pretty cool, and I like Ralph on the arcade game. This version of Ralph, uh, I don't know, he looks really thin. I'm really not sure why they would do that to him. He definitely needs a lot more bulk. I guess if I were to have designed him, I would have made him much wider. When he's on a three quarter view, he actually looks pretty good. Although Ralph is pretty cool, I think I would still prefer this version of George. I hope you enjoyed this review of the Canister Contact set with Ralph, and stay tuned as next time we look at Ralph's Big City Brawl set.